welcome back to Blackbird Studio. In this video, I'm going to be making this katana in Blender 2.8. So, the first thing we want to do is make a new project. And we're just going to delete the light and the camera, just because those will get in our way. And the first thing we're going to do is add a cylinder and scale it on the z-axis so it's pretty thin like that <clears throat> and this is going to be the hand guard on the katana so we're going to tab into edit mode and press 3 to go to face select select the bottom face and invert it by pressing I then scaling it on the y-axis like that then go into the front view by pressing 1 and extrude it down extrude just like that and it might be a little too wide so I'm gonna alt select this loop and shift select the bottom and scale it on the shift C axis and the handle might be a little too long so I'm just going to bring that bottom face up and now we're going to make the blade and this is a little more complicated so we're going to add a cylinder and change the vertices down to 3 and we want this on the x-axis to be the front so we're going to rotate it on the z 90 degrees so that the point is facing on the x-axis now i can scale it and scale it on the x or sorry on the y-axis and then just position it move it up move it on the x-axis Scale it some more, put it on the x-axis, and then we're going to move this face down. <clears throat> and now what we want to do is select the cursor and move it over here somewhere, anything on the x-axis. <clears throat> and now tab into edit mode again, and select this spin tool and now over here just click on one of these pluses and rotate it oh, wait sorry i have to rotate it like this just click and drag and it'll make it spin <clears throat> and you can change the amount of steps which is the amount of vertices i'm gonna increase this to like 20 And I'm going to change the angle to something like 5. And then if I move this over here, it'll get longer. Like that. And I think that's good. And go back to, you can go back to uh, box select. It might be a bit long, so you can just scale it on the Z, but I'm fine with a long sword. And tab into edit mode, and add a loop cut at the very top, and select this vertice. Oops, I'm still on um, the spin tool, so I can go back to box select. And... Move this on the X and the Z axes. Just to get the tip a bit sharp. And you don't you don't want this, so I'm gonna select these two points and merge them at center by pressing M and selecting at center. 
And we can also scale these on the Y just a little bit. And now I'm going to texture it. But first I'm just gonna bring down this, just like that, so it's a bit longer. And so we want this, the handle, to be black. So just alt click to select those loops and shift click on the bottom and go down to material properties, add a new material and make it black. And the reason why you can't see it being black is because we're not in viewport shading. So if we switch to viewport shading, we can see that this whole thing is black, but we only want the selected vertices to be black. So we can click assign and then add a new material. And what we're gonna do now is alt click on these, on the hand protector thing, select the new material and assign it. But we want this to be maybe like a brown color. Something like that will work. <clears throat> and add a new material for the blade also. Um, you might want this a bit darker. And we're going to make this metal. Right now it's not shiny at all. But if we increase the metallic and just put that at like one and the roughness, we can decrease that. And now you can see that it's very reflective. And it's very sharp. Um, but I'm not going to have that. Um, I'm going to increase it to like. Point two, I guess, something like that. Still looks very sharp. <clears throat> and now, if you want to render it, you can go to the render shading and um, change the render engine to cycles under this little camera icon. It'll render better. And uh, I hope you like this video. If you do, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.